Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness I am so mad I'm so mad I'm so mad I'm so mad just kidding oh <laughs> yes okay I'm great <laughs> those are the four basic emotions that us teens go through in probably the course of 10 minutes or maybe that's just me <laughs> My name is Emma Russell, and I'm going to tell you why emotions are amazing. I'm also going to tell you why you should possibly ex be accepting them a little more. So, like I said before, there are four basic emotions. There is sadness, <laughs> there is anger, there is happiness, and there is fear. And they're all amazing. First one I'd like to talk about is happiness, one that everyone knows me for. <laughs> Uh, one day, I was challenged by a teacher to go out and make people smile. Uh, <laughs> no idea what I was doing, did not know what to do. And I finally put myself to work and thought, you know what, I hate Mondays and I really like cookies. So I went out and I handed cookies to people on a Monday. Aside from the confused looks and questions on if it was poisonous, I got many smiles. The best part about those little moments and those little smiles I received was that I was happy for the rest of the week. I was so satisfied that I was able to make people happy. And that is an example of me using, utilizing my 40% control of happiness. 30-year-olds, 55-year-olds, and 70-year-olds are proven to be happier than people under the age of 30. I find that sad. And I kind of find it funny because people like me who are my age, we're, we've got a whole life ahead of us. So when you see someone happy, congratulate them. It sounds silly, but tell them, you know what, I like your smile, or your happiness makes me happy. And if you see someone down in the dumps, tell them, you know, it's okay, you're sad, be sad. But you know what? Go out and utilize your 40%. And there you are killing two birds with one stone because you made yourself happy because you made another person happy. Ah, fear. Well, one day I decided that I could just pass this test. No studying needed. So I watched Netflix for mm, five hours. And the next day I got into the classroom and I was sitting at the desk and I was like, oh goodness, oh my gosh, why didn't I study? Why did I watch all that Netflix? That was stupid. And I'm flipping through my pages in my binder trying to just read something so I wouldn't completely fail the test. And all I could think as I was doing this was, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Well, I finished the test, didn't die. I made it out of the classroom, didn't die. And I got my grade back, didn't die. So 75% of people are afraid of getting bad grades and bad performance in school. It seems silly, right? Because I didn't die from my bad grade, right? Well, it's not silly. Our fear is what we use to drive us. So don't tell me I'm stupid for fearing that bad grade. Tell me I'm amazing, because I'm using that fear to drive myself to never get that bad grade again. Next emotion is sadness. Uh, I moved here from Boston, Massachusetts, and when I got here, I was very angry because we had to move and everything, and I felt very alone. One of the people who really made me feel welcome into this community was our neighbors right across from the street, the McMillans. The little old lady, she'd come and she'd knock on our door and she'd bring a bucket of books, and she'd say, let's go outside and enjoy the outdoors. Rain or shine, it could be pouring rain, and she'd read to us, just under a tree that work as an umbrella. And one day, my mom came in, after we had lost connection with these people, and she said, we, not we, sorry, <laughs> she had passed away. And it didn't exactly hit me because I hadn't talked to her in a while. But the next day, I got to school, and all I wanted to do was cry because I was so torn up about the fact that this lady who made me feel so welcome was gone. 
And I didn't want to cry in front of all these people in class, so I held it together. And my teacher, who I had had for three years straight, knew me pretty well and came up to me and said, hey, Emma, are you okay? I just looked at him and, you know, shrugged it off. And he pulled me outside of class, and next thing I knew, I was crying in his arms. Uh, what's great about sadness is that it's evolutionary. We are able to show people that we are sad without even having to say anything. And so, next time you're sad, don't think you're stupid for crying over that grade or crying over that person who passed away. Know that this is the best way you can show that you care. Anger. Uh, this year, actually, in the beginning of the track season, the most crucial, crucial part where we're all evolving into getting good, I got injured on my leg. And I'm not an amazing runner, but I do care very much about running. And so I was angry. I was very upset with the fact that I couldn't run, and I had to watch all these other people have that ability to run. And people would come up to me, why are you so angry? It's so dumb. But it's not dumb. I was angry because I cared. So don't tell me that I'm stupid for caring, because that's basically what you're telling me. Tell me I'm great, because there I am caring about that. Don't tell me I'm stupid for getting angry over that grade, because I'm going to use that anger that I'm use the anger that I have towards that bad grade to drive myself to strive through school. So yes, it's my conclusion. I'm done speaking. <laughs> um, my conclusion, or the thing that I want to say to all of you is take that 40% control that you have and be happy. Take that fear that you have and use it to drive you. Use it to conquer it and get those good grades. With that sadness, I know it hurts, and I know that it's all stuck in your stomach, and all you want to do is just rip that emotion off of you. But know that that's the best way your own self can show that you care. And last but not least, anger. Know that that is you also showing you care, and know that is you recognizing there is a wrong. So what I'm going to leave you off all on is accept your emotions, and accept others' emotions. Thank you.